Good morning and welcome to the show for November 28th. I'm Randy McGuigan and I'm joined by Hayden Mitchum. We hope you had a great break and are ready to start the stretch run of 18 school days to get where you want to go before finals. Today on the show, reporter Jay Chab with the camera operator Sailor Wren bring back the segment Around Town when they take us to the Wrecking Crew Bakery. We'll break down the women's cross country team's impressive run at state and tune you in for the week. Welcome to the show. Without a doubt, the lead story over the break was our girls cross country going to Fresno to run in the California State Championship and their outstanding result. Yearbook photographer and cross country runner Anna Piper was there and captured the images we have for you today. On Saturday, November 25th, the girls cross country team, ranked 11th in the state, made their second appearance at the state championship in as many years. This last weekend, our varsity girls team placed ninth in the state out of 24 teams in division four, and that actually moved them up a place or two based on various rankings that different sites do. Uh, so that was pretty spectacular. The state race course is demanding and has been the home of the state championships since 1987. Yes, and so did, by the way, that so did uh, Jesse and Jerm uh, Jesse and Micah's dad also ran that course. We went to high school together and we raced there in um, our junior and senior years. In the biggest race of the year, Colfax saved their best for last with four of the seven runners scoring personal records. It was especially sweet for our two seniors where, you know, Jesse, Obviously, she's had a tremendous season. She's been very successful. But I know, both as her coach and as her mom, that she's really had to work so hard this season. Nothing has felt good to her. She's been wondering, when am I going to feel good? And it, she still didn't feel good on this Saturday, but she PR'd. She ran the fastest time she has all year. She ran the fastest time she ever has at a 5K. And she ran the fastest time of every Sac Joaquin girl in every division on Saturday, division one, two, three, four, five. She was the fastest girl, which is pretty sweet. Even better than that for me is Jade. You know, I've only gotten to coach Jade this one time, but I've known her for a long time. Jesse and Jade have competed against each other since they were little guys. And Jade ran her fastest time four years ago. And it's just been this like weight on her back. Am I ever gonna be able to PR again? And uh, I'm getting chills thinking about it to watch her finish and push the entire race and achieve that was just, uh, it was the best gift. Sophomore Micah Redding and junior Sophie Sunding rounded out the personal records and Sunding got as close to overcoming the 20 minute barrier as she ever has. And coach Redding is certain she'll break through early next season. As for Micah, she is right on track to becoming the next in a long line of running stars at Colfax. But success in this team sport is impossible without the entire team bringing something to the table. And every runner Saturday did just that. Claire Piper was our number five as a freshman. And, uh, you know, while she's done cross country a little bit, we know that basketball is her primary sport. But man, she brought to the team just sheer competitiveness and drive and push. And, and everybody knows that. And so bringing that with her helps elevate everyone else's competitive vibe. Um, number six for us is Morgan Toner. And she just always has such a positive attitude and is inspirational to others by motivating them, encouraging them. And just being that steady, stable presence is a, a very important glue for the team to keep everyone calm. And our number seven, uh, Sammy Reedy Platt, has just been the motivator the entire season. When we step up to the line and it's time to do a cheer and give everyone a motivational speech, I'll say a couple of things. And I literally step back. Sammy grabs everyone in a huddle. She talks to them about, here's what we're doing today. Here's why we're doing it. We are Falcons. And she just lays it all out. The ninth place finish is the second best in Colfax history. But as a whole, the 2023 team raced much faster than the 2016 and has made their mark 
on the evolution of high school cross country, where athletes are getting faster every year. What a great way to end the fall season and welcome in the winter sports season. Again, congratulations to our cross country team. You made us all proud. In sports this week, our boys basketball team will try to build off their impressive foundation game win when they take on Nevada Union tonight in the Poochie Pavilion. Varsity tips off at 7 p.m. with both the JV and freshmen playing before. Our soccer teams are in action, starting with the boys taking on league opponent center tonight at Marson Stadium as they try to make it back to the playoffs for a third year in a row. On Wednesday, the girls soccer team will take on rival Placer at home with the kickoff at 7 p.m. This is a highly anticipated matchup and will surely be one of the biggest games of the season as they start their quest to defend their back-to-back -back section titles. So don't miss out. Make your plans to be in the nest for the classic showdown of local powers. It's official. Soka Senior Week is off and running. Thank you to our first volunteers that helped the seniors get this first-time event kicked off. I am freezing just thinking about it. Today, the event carries on, and here's your list of volunteers so you can plan your pour. Again, there is no limit to the buckets poured on any senior volunteer, so keep them coming. Your ASB leaders want to remind all teachers and the students they gave invitations to for this year's Winterfest that students must RSVP with that teacher so we can place you in the appropriate flex for Friday, December 1st. Colfax TV is bringing back our segment, Around Town, which we would usually have to wait until second term and be left to our advanced broadcasters. But reporter Jade Shad and camera operator Sailor Wren threw themselves into this location shoot and have this story right now. Welcome to the return of Around Town, a CTV segment that takes you, the viewer, behind the scenes at local establishments and shines the light on things that may bring interest to you outside of school. I'm Jade Shad, and today we will explore a new bakery in downtown Colfax, The Wrecking Crew. Let's go. The Wrecking Crew is a new bakery that just opened this September in downtown Colfax, owned by Caroline Glenn Presson. The bakery is a great place to go get a delicious treat and meet new people. Expect people to, to be comfortable when they walk in the door. They walk out happy, fat and full. We expect them to really enjoy the food we make and uh, take away a good food experience, you know? Walk out of here happy with what they've ate and happy with what with our service what you know how we've treated them and we like to make our customers happy the bakery has some specialties like bagel bombs and gluten-free options but if you ever decide to visit you might find our own Colfax students serving you we want fast we want friendly and we want efficient we've had we've had quite a few high schoolers come through here a lot of high schoolers come through here. We've always enjoyed, I think, every one of them. I really like baking, and it was with family, so also money, but I, it was, it's a lot of fun working down there. I like it working the espresso machine. Wrecking Crew is a wonderful bakery and has many delicious treats. As a matter of fact, it was so good, I had to come back just once more to try a few specialties like the cheddar sausage bagel bomb, the chocolate brioche, the apple cake, and you can never go wrong with the chocolate chip muffin and wash it down with some hot cocoa. For The Wrecking Crew, I'm Jade Shad signing off. Okay, I'm officially hungry, and off the record, I know you gotta taste a number of the things Jade showed in the piece, and they look delicious. They were so good. While we're on the topic of food, many people in our community face food insecurity on a daily basis and count on local food banks to make it through challenging times. Senior leaders Logan Hussey and Hayden Lohman are leading this year's canned food drive and will partner with the Auburn Interfaith Food Bank to make an impact in our community. And they can't do it without each and every one of us helping. The drive will start on Monday, December 11th and will be a class competition based on our advisory classes. During the week-long drive, there will be three days of fun competitions supporting the drive, so stay tuned to Instagram and the Bulletin so you can make a small action to make a big impact in the lives of others who face food insecurity. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Cool Facts. We will be back on December 12th for our last advisory and our last show of the season before handing off the show to the advanced broadcasting team. 
We have a ton of stories in production, and we look forward to getting them all out to you on the 12th and the weekly show when we get back from winter break. Until then, I'm Hayden Mitchum. And I'm Rand McGuigan. Have a great week, Colfax.